You guys, today we are going to do this frame. So I have the napkin undone, the wrapping up of this, and then I had made some different size prints. And the one that's going to work the best is the smallest one. Let me show you. Don't ever use your original photograph. Use a print. But do you see how this doesn't fit the heart completely? Okay. But this one it fits the heart. But it's still cutting off her little dress. Now, if you wanted to do that, you could. And you would have a little bit left over here. And then the biggest one. That's not going to work at all. Because it would cut way too much off of her. And I wouldn't want that. So what I thought I would do is I would come in and I would go ahead and kind of cut around her, fussy cut around her so it isn't just square on here. You know what I mean? But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this black but I'm going to put her picture, I'm going to glue her picture in, on top of the white because if I don't, that black is going to go, it's going to show through and it's going to make it too dark. I'll glue this with a glue stick and then I will cut it out and then put it against the black. I think that's what I'm going to do because I was going to back it with some of this, but I think it would be too much because the whole frame is going to be watermelon and I want this to pop. Okay? So, what I'm going to do now is just go ahead, use my Mod Podge and glue this on. Now, I'm telling you all this now because I'm just going to put you to music while I'm doing it, but I wanted some of the I wanted some of the green to show, but to get the green to show, then you see some wood. Now, I could paint this, but I'd rather not. So I can do this. You're not going to see much of the green. And then I'm going to, again, this will be cut out because this is where the picture will go. I could do that, or I could come in and put it like this. I could do that. And of course this will be taken off. You know, you it won't be covering the heart. I'm gonna go for it. And now probably just put you to some music. Use my Matt Mod Podge. Okay. <laughs> If I wasn't going to put another napkin on, I probably would paint this white. But since I'm putting the um, watermelon napkin over this, I'm not going to bother. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 
this is gonna be cute. Now I like it. That's the worst when you're working on something and you just don't like it. And I'm not worried too much about how I'm cutting this because I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn this. this heart but we shall see I'm just cutting off the excess you don't need any more paper to burn than need be Gosh, it went really good. Perfect. Brush and get the soot off. Look. Cool. But that's why you want to take as much off as far as the napkin. Do you know what I mean? You don't want all this burning, so take off as much as you can. how the flame just follows until it's done. Perfect. Look at that. The only thing about that is you do get a little bit of this black soot, but what I'm going to do, this will be covered anyway with the other uh, napkin. I'm going to paint and I'll put something over this. That's the only downfall. Now, I'm thinking I might keep the ply on this because if I don't, those polka dots are going to come through. Okay. I, I just know it would come through. Yep, it would. So I'm going to leave this on. Normally I wouldn't. I'm really being very generous with my Mod Podge on purpose so it'll saturate. Now what you could have done <clears throat> is you could have painted around and not even put the green and just put the green here, but you'd have to be pretty precise. Starting over. Didn't like it. I'll be back. Okay, 
So what I did, I painted it white. I came in, we're scratching the green and white polka dot. I painted it, I brought this on to be my template and I drew where to paint because it'd be too hard to try to do the napkin. So I'm just going to paint this part a lime green and make white polka dots myself. So do you see where I took the pencil and from here down I'll do the green. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so let's paint just this area. I'm going to do the sides too. Okay, now let's start the polka dots. I like this better. I think it's going to be cleaner looking. I wonder if I should do the polka dots after. You know what? I think I will. I'm going to Mod Podge this on now. Okay. Now I'm going to smooth it out, wait for it to dry and I'll sand off the excess and in just a minute we're going to put the polka dots. So there's our polka dots. So we take a heat gun to it and dry it a little bit faster and uh, sand off the sides and then we'll work on it. So what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm just going to take an emery board, sand this off. Well, this part could probably just, you know what, this part could just stay, actually. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's the frame. Isn't that cute? And what I thought, and I, I do like it, I painted the heart that came in here. Remember? I painted that black. And I cut 
Everly out. I cut around, fussy cut it, and then I'm going to put her to this cardboard so the black doesn't come through. Now I'm just going to fussy cut around her, and I might pop her up even with a couple of pop dots. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I did put a layer of Mod Podge over this so it wouldn't scratch, and it does make her pop, which is what I wanted. But now I don't know if I want to do polka dots, black polka dots in here. to where you can see. But do you see how that makes it pop out, the black? But I think I want to pop her up with a pop, pop dot. I do think white polka dots will be cute. I don't know if I'm going to do more than that. Probably not. I think you'll be able to see him, I hope. But I think that's where I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to let those dry now. Okay, while we're waiting for this to dry, last year I cut out with some leftover styrofoam from something that I bought. And I was gonna make either candy corn or watermelon. Well, I have these and I was gonna paint them and I thought that would be such a cute little vignette with this frame. But why am I gonna paint them if I can use this? That's crazy. And it would match. Unbelievable. So that, that is what I'm going to do. And this is almost folded. Well, it is folded in quarters. So this works out perfect. Oh my gosh, that works out perfect, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do... can't believe how perfect this works out because um, I know I couldn't paint it as good as to what it would look like with the napkin so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna put some Mod Podge okay I wonder how this is gonna be with styrofoam I don't think I'm going to try the burn method <laughs> with styrofoam. And these are such cute napkins. watermelon theme. 
Oh my word, look at this, you guys, I love it. Okay, this is the slice from Dollar Tree, remember my haul? But look at her eating her watermelon, and look at the frame. You guys, I am so excited I brought out the styrofoam cuts. If you go back to my uh, candy corn, you'll see when I cut these. So it was last year, and by the time summer came last year, it was too late, and I thought, you know what, I'll do something this year, and I did. I was going to paint these, and I am so glad I didn't, because the napkins work perfect. Look at this. Look how cute it looks with the frame. And remember, all we did is paint the frame, and again, the napkin worked perfectly, because if you cut it into fourths, it went the corner went perfect. It couldn't have been more perfect. And I decided just to paint and put the dot instead of the napkin. I think it worked out much better. But guys, look. And, and then this plate was from Dollar Tree last year. So guys, I think this is so adorable and how cute for the summer. These frames are perfect for napkin decoupaging. But look at, she was only like two. Look, eating her little watermelon. Guys, until we get together again, remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. There's only one you, and you bring something to this world nobody else can. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.